Please stand for the entrance hymn. Hymn number five, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. Hymn number five. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, I welcome all, you all for this Eucharistic celebration. We celebrate the solemnity of the all, all the saints. All baptized Christians who have died and are now with God in glory are considered saints. All Saints Day is intended to honor the memory of the countless unknown and uncanonized saints who have no feast days. Today we thank God for giving ordinary men and women, Ursia in His holiness and heavenly glory as a reward for their faith. Now coming together as God's people to commemorate and to reenact the mystery of Christ's love, let us call to mind our sins. Lord, you make us holy by helping us to be gentle and merciful in our dealings with others. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you make us holy by helping us to be pure of heart and make us of peace. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you make us holy by awakening within us a hunger for what is good and true and right. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The first reading, a reading from the book of Apocalypse. I, John, saw an angel ascend from the rising of the sun with the seal of the living God. And he called with a loud voice to the four angels who had been given power to harm the earth and sea, saying, do not harm the earth or the sea or the trees till I have sealed the servants of our God upon their foreheads. And I heard the number of the sealed, a hundred and forty-four thousand sealed out of every tribe of the sons of Israel. After this, I looked and behold, a great multitude which no man could number from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with some palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne and round the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these clothed in white robes, and whence have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you know. He said to me, they, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, your sung response is. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. All together. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. The Lord is the earth and its fullness the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas. 
on the waters he made it firm. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord, who shall climb the mountain of the Lord, who shall stand in his holy place, the man with clean hands and a pure heart, who desires not worthless things. Such are the men who seek your face, O Lord. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. Such are the men who seek your face, O God. The second reading is taken from the first letter of St. John. We shall see God as he is. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. It does not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Holy Gospel of our Lord according to Matthew. Glory to you, you Lord. Seeing the clouds, Jesus went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs 
is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the solemnity of all the saints. A few years back, when Mother Teresa was living, a group of journalists went to India and wanted to have an appointment with her. And they asked a few questions from her. And then, after gathering some information, they wrote a book. The title of the book is a living saint. They said, we saw a living saint. And in the book they tell us who a living saint is. They compare the life of a living saint to a window. When you open the window, you see the outside world. And they say, through a living person, through a living saint, you see Christ. Just like we open the window and see the world, through a living saint, you see Christ. Yes, my dear friends, uh, today we are all called to holiness. Every Christian is called to ho holiness. And as I said, as I mentioned at the introduction, there are countless men and women over the years uncanonized, but they have lived a holy life and they are saints. We have few saints named in the Catholic calendar and we observe their feast days, but there are a countless number of men and women over the years who have lived a, a holy life and we honor them and we thank God for giving such people as role models. As you know, my dear friends, uh, for any kind of effective communication, for any kind of effective communication, today we talk about role models. We need to have people as role models to follow the lives of those people. And those people must influence the lives of others. And we take, for example, uh, the same saint, Mother Teresa. She says that, uh, do ordinary things with great love. Do ordinary things with great love. Do something beautiful. Do something beautiful for God. Do ordinary things with great love. So Mother Teresa was one person who was named a living saint. She said she always did ordinary things with great love. She did not think of substantial things, big things. People generally think you need to do big things. She was quite unassuming in whatever she said or did. She was concerned about of the, the lepers. She nursed them. And she impressed many people, not only the sick, but all those who saw her helping the sick. She was a role model. And also we have different characters like 
St. Augustine. St. Augustine says, Si iste et ista cur non ego. He mentions, she says, Si iste et ista cur non ego. In other words, he says, if he and she can become a saint, why can't I? If he and she can become a saint, why can't I? I am also called to holiness. St. Augustine lived a life of debauchery. He lived a sinful life. His own mother, St. Monica, prayed for the conversion of her son, Augustine. But at one particular stage in life, Augustine made a U-turn. And we call him now a saint. Yes, my dear friends, we can go on like that. Different saints had different characteristics. Some were saints from that childhood, from the teenage. Some in the middle age, some in the old age. At some given point, they made a U-turn. They followed Jesus Christ. They considered the Lord as their number one. They had their temptations, they had their ups and downs. They, they were in crisis situations, conflict situations, crisis moments. But at one particular moment in life, they made a U-turn. This is what is important. You and I are called to holiness. Once, a uh, few years back, His Eminence Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit visited a school and then he told the students there, the school is St. Peter's College, he told the students there, I want you to be saints. What are Catholic schools meant for? He says, one reason, probably one what we expect from Catholic schools is to produce saints. Yes, my dear friends, we all have to contribute, not only schools, parents, role models, a lot of people must come together to influence the li lives of people. We must see examples. This is the most effective way of communicating today. Look for role models. St. Francis of Assisi lived a very poor life. St. Mary, John Mary Viani, he was all the time at the confessional, listening to hearing the confession of people. He became a saint because he was not educated, but he spent his life all the time hearing confession, helping people to change their life. Yes, my dear friends, we are all called to holiness. We all can be saints. Let us not underestimate what we can. Sometimes we take this as a joke. When we say that we, we as so-and-so wants to be a saint, we sometimes smile. We think that that person can't be a saint. Why can't? St. Augustine says, if he and she can be a saint, why can't I? All can, my dear friends. The only important the thing to do is have the Lord before you, have the Lord in front of you, make the Lord your number one. And do live a life pleasing to the Lord. It's never too late. Better late than never. Let us make a start today. We are all called to holiness and it's a kind of invitation the Lord has given to all of us. Whether we are old or whether we are young, irrespective of our social state, the Lord has given us an open invitation to holiness. Let us accept it with, with a sincere heart and say, yes, Lord, you know who I am. I want to be a saint, but I want you to help me. So yes, my dear friends, let's keep this thought today and ask for God's grace, so that with God's grace and having role models like these saints, we can learn a lot from them. And they are our motivators. They always encourage us. They say, we had problems, now we are with the Lord in heaven. Please don't get discouraged. Perseverance is very important. Never give up. Never give up. Be determined and go forward. 
Let us give this thought today and pray that all of us are called to holiness, all of us are called to be saints, and let us thank the Lord for giving us so many saints. Let us all stand for the profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father the Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him, through him all, all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came, came down from heaven, and, and by, by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Have we listened to the word of God and recalling our duty to bear witness to God's love? Let us pray for the people of God and especially for our near and dear ones. Your response Father, be with your people. Father, Father. be with your people. Father, look in love on all whose sins has separated them from you. Reconcile them to yourself and to your church. We pray to the Lord. Father, be with be your, your people. people. That the leaders of this country will not abuse the power entrusted to them, but shape a society that is just and compassionate. We pray to the Lord. Father, be with your people. Gather all the people of our nation together. Lord, may we believe expectantly that we shall soon seek a change of heart to rise above self-racism and hatred and establish an environment of fellowship, understanding and amity amongst us. We pray to the Lord. Father, be with your people. For our parish community, grant that always aglow with charity, we may love you above all else, and our brethren for your sake with one and the self-same love. We pray to the Lord. Father, Father be, be with, with your, your people. people. Welcome our departed brothers and sisters into the company of Mary, Joseph, and all the saints. Through their intercession, Grant us a place in your kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Father, be with your people. God our Father, please accept these our prayers and petitions. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please join in the offertory hymn, hymn number 254. Blessed are you, Lord God. Hymn number 254.
pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Please stand. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up, O Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is a truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother. We are the great array of our brothers and sisters, already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church, through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Malcolm Ranjith, our bishop, and all the laity and the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you, throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son Jesus Christ <clears throat> through him with him in him in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours almighty father forever and ever so wise at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we they are to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us o lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you god our father help us to experience the same peace in our own families in our own communities in our own country and in all parts of the world look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen may the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace peace be with you lamb of god take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you that should you. enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed prayer for a spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot now receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as you have already come and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen
let us all say the prayer to Our Lady for our country. O most loving and tender mother, queen and patroness of Sri Lanka, we humbly ask you to look upon us, your children, in our hour of need. Dearest mother, you have come to our rescue, even in times of peril from war and destruction. In your never failing love for us, we earnestly ask you to dispel from our midst all forms of violence and hatred. Help us to build in our land God's kingdom of justice and love. Knowing your abiding love and concern for us, dear Mother, we entrust your loving care and guidance all races and peoples of our country. Help us to bring about brotherhood, peace and unity in our society. Guide the destinies of our nation and obtain for us lasting peace so that all of us may live as brothers and sisters of one family. Amen. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust down to hell, Satan, and all wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Please stand for the final prayer. Let us pray as we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints. We implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for a while. My dear parishioners, I would like to thank all of you for your presence and participation at this Holy Mass. As you know, tomorrow will be All Souls Day and uh, we pray for the repose of the souls. If we have permission to say Mass, then we will notify. If not, we'll pray for the souls wherever we are. I would like to thank the parish council and also the choir, and uh, particularly the parish council for organizing this uh, Holy Mass. Last Sunday we had uh, a Zoom Mass as we had today. So the parish council was responsible and uh, the Choristers also came to help us and all the others who had some role to play. I would like to thank you very sincerely. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the glory and the joy of the saints, who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers, bless you with unending blessings. Amen. Amen. Freed through the intercession from present ills and formed by the example of their holy way of life, may you be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbor. Amen. Amen. So that together with all, we may possess the joys of the homeland where our holy church rejoices that her children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen. come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. The Mass is over. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join in the final hymn, hymn number 163.
163, How Great Thou Art. Thank you for your prayerful participation. Have a pleasant Sunday. God bless you all. the palm of my hand.